This is the first lesson of MATLAB Phase Detection Tracking and Recognition course. In this lesson, we will learn how to detect a face on an image. To keep things organized, create a folder in the desktop or anywhere else you want and name it MATLAB Phase Detection Tracking and Recognition. Then launch the MATLAB. Once the MATLAB window will appear, click on this Browse for Folder icon. Then locate the MATLAB Phase Detection Tracking and Recognition folder that we have created a few moments ago. Get inside this folder and click on Select Folder. Now, create another folder here, name it Face Detection on an Image. Get inside this folder, now click on No Script and save it as Face Detection on Image. We need an image now. I'm going to launch my web browser and look up my own image in the Google. Here are a few of them. I'm taking this one, saving it in the face detection on image folder. The first task is to load this image in the workspace. To do it, use imread function. Then we need to tell the function which image to load. As our image is located in the working directory, simply writing the name of the image with extension will work. To store the loaded image, we need a variable. Let's take a variable named the image. You are free to use any other name. If the loaded image is too large, we may not be able to see the final result properly. That is why it is important to resize the image if it is too large. To do it, write width, comma, height in a set of square brackets, then type equal symbol. Now we are going to use size function to know the width and height of the image. Then we are going to initiate an if condition. If the width of the image is more than 320 pixels, then we will resize the image We use imResize function to do it. The first argument of this function is the source image. The second argument is the size we want. In a set of square brackets, I'm writing 320 space NAN. It means the width will be 320 pixels and the height is not defined. It will be rationally adjusted. And this resize image is going to be stored in the image variable. Let's run the code and see what happens. Here we can see the width of the image is 512 pixels. Later, for the image, it has been scaled to 320 pixels. To detect the face, we need to use an object named vision.cascadeObjectDetector. This object is now stored in face detector variable. 
Using this object, we can detect faces. Next, we are going to use a function named step. This function requires two arguments. The first argument is the face detector and the second argument is the image where the face is located and it returns the location of the face. Let's store the location of the face in a variable named location of the face. Now run this code and write location of the face. We have got a coordinate of a rectangle which is actually the location of the face. Now we are going to use a function named insert shape. This function inserts shapes in target location. In our case, we want to insert shape in the image. And we want to insert a rectangle. And the rectangle will be placed on the location of the face. Now, this function will return an image where the face is enclosed by a rectangle. Let's store this image in a variable named detected image. All right. We have detected the face. Now it is time to show it. For that, write figure, then use imshow function. Put detected image as the argument of this function. Let's add a title to this image. It says detected face. Now click on run. Here is the result. The face has been detected and identified by a rectangle. It is very easy to detect the face using MATLAB. If you find this lesson helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and do not forget to subscribe.